well. Just see the fairway, but right, lovely guys. shot, Peter. Walking out to part two. Uh, here at Delamere Forest with myself and Matt Fryer. If you've not watched part one, then I'll give you just a second what? to hop back and check it out. I'm currently one up. After a little bit of a sketchy start, we're playing in uh, regulation play, so we got onto the tee, got out as quickly as possible, which really did show itself <laughs> in the first few holes. And Matt didn't have a great time with his driver on the one hole. Probably the worst shot I've had with it so far, but he's got time to redeem himself. Honestly, guys, it was a terrible tee shot. So 311 yards here, wind off the right downwind. It can be drivable, I think, with this hole before. Also, double bogey here before. That's more like it. That is much more like it. Just on the Thanks. left there. Thanks. Actually drew quite a long way, just left to the green. Over the green. It's alright then. Still chipping. Two good chances for birdie. So after a couple of tee shots, I am just here in the bunker, just crept in. Matt's well over. I didn't strike mine great. I didn't actually think I got uh, got that far. So Matt's gonna be coming out thick rough. It's a long way over to the hole there. But he's got the whole of the green to work with, so even if the lie is not great, he should be able to basically duff it out and get it going on the green. So it looks like he's just putting sandwich in it, just getting it on the green and then running out. It's into wind though, so he's probably going to have to give it maybe a little bit more than he thinks. Oh, look at shot, get in. Ooh! That was very close. Hopefully I got that, I was too busy looking at the pin and the hole. That was a nice shot. I enjoyed that one. That looked lovely. Nearly threw a pub in the air. Oh wow. Thought it was the second hole out in a par four in a week. Alright. Alright. So? Calm down mate. So Pete just called the bunker. Yeah. 60 I would presume for you here. Yeah. To win, so I'll give it a little bit more. We're just going to try and get it onto the green here. A little bit more running or fly all the way? Ah, uh, fly all the way. Oof. A little bit of spin then, folks. Oh, not. Yeah, it's been quite. Oops, sorry. Got too much sand there. I want it. Right then, so how far is that? About 10 foot? Going just up ball in line with my ball there. It's probably about 25 feet, I'd say. Chance of a birdie. I would imagine it's moving right to left. Bit of a poor one. Uh, I'll I'll give you that one, Pete. I'm, I'm kind like that, you see. My head was. Uh... I've done that in a while, I was actually looking for that. <laughs> As the old driving range pros will say, up and down the land, my head was up looking at it. I was told you were looking for that one. Head up. Lifted your head, mate. So chance for a birdie. Uh, disappointing my need a line on that as well. It's just a bad putt. Just trying to get to grips with this new putter. Overall, it's been very, very positive. But for, loads of cameras. For a chance of, what, what? Did you try quite a few cameras? I tried every single one. The only Scotty cameras I didn't try that day were the ones in Scotty's garage. Damn you, Scott. So, chance for a birdie and to go back to level in the match. See moving slightly left. Slightly left, yeah, I think. Nope. Oh. God, that's loud. Massive, massive break. A little bit of wind interference as well, possibly. But stays at level. It's a real shame, I gave you that one. Maybe. <laughs> so, 14th hole, par four, 368 yards. You're going out in this direction and it swings a little left down. You can't see where you're landing it if you're hitting it about 240. I always make the same mistake here, just getting a, a bit of a longer club. Mm, I think 
with it running down, as long as you carry it sort of 220, 230, yeah. it finds that plateau of fairway. It's going to find that little slope, ain't it? Yeah. We're going to be aiming pretty much at that tree and letting it come round. Okey jokey. Popping down, just sit on the hill. Yep. Nice shot. Thank you. It's going to be leaving me probably about, well, it's going to be leaving me at like 1, 150 in probably, I would have thought, but yeah. it's downhill, a little bit downwind. It's the smart play, Peter. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to be a little smarter. It's not easy. Driver everywhere. And when you've been a dumbass all your life, I mean, to make that transition, it's tricky. Yeah, absolutely. So, with the driving iron here? It's just going to be a similar, uh, similar line route. Right? Yeah, very good. Very good, very similar. Just a little bit further. Strike, it'll do. It'll do indeed. Lovely approach into the 14th hole here. All the way down the hill. Pin took tight, oh, tight, middle left, pine trees behind. 147. 147 downhill, where are you going in with? Uh, I'm not sure, I think 9 iron should be. 9 iron should be alright? I think so, yeah. It's like a crosswind more than anything, isn't it? Yeah, slightly different this hole, so slightly more across, but still a bit down. I'm just a wee bit. Further on there, I think I kicked off the downslope. I think middle of the green, and then it should be round to it. One would suspect so, yes. But you should never assume. Look at that great view. Look at you! Look at you, are you a player? Are you a, are you a, are you a golf pro? Supposedly. Oh, interesting. I didn't realise. I'll have to... Oh, oh yeah, that, see that, there's, a, there's a guy who's just that. clapping down on the green. <laughs> didn't realise I was competing for claps. Oh, yeah. That's intense, isn't it? An audience. A real life one as well. Yeah, so, Pete, a little bit further on. Hit a lovely tee shot. I was comfortable after that, but now I know the pressure's on. One, what have you got, 137 would you say? Uh, 133 I'd say. 133, you'd say. Going down to Mooch's flag. Yeah, Fans behind the green there. Probably muscle a gap wedge, but... Just a little wedge, keep a bit of spin off it. Yeah, just a little three quarter one. Don't let it move as much. I see a good it's shot here from here. Really. Just middle, well, middle left and then just let it drift if it wants to. Yeah, opted to hit it a little skinny to keep it out of the wind. Just gone through the back there. I did. <laughs> Is that the wind play? I didn't mean to thin the arse <laughs> off it to keep it out of the wind. It, was was just, it wasn't oh, technically done. I wasn't. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Guys, oh, no, if you're sorry. ever in the wind, sorry, sorry, thin yeah. it. So if you ever want to come for a lesson at the uh, Quest Golf Academy with myself, if you want to learn how to play in the wind, one of the main underrated features of playing in the wind is to use this the leading edge yeah, shot the leading edge of the club not many grooves on there therefore it won't really get the ball up in the air and we'll be able to control the spin a little bit more than you otherwise would ladies and gentlemen thank you very much if you're watching this video you can go to my gofundme page pp's free golf lessons dot gofundme dot com uh, where you'll get more words of wisdom from myself and matt I'm, I'm taking no part in this thanks for watching guys and now back to the regular uh, <laughs> back to the block regular feature block Right, so we're uh, down at the green now. Pete has just got about 35 feet after that fantastically struck iron. <laughs> if you missed his uh, earlier section on how to play in the wind, do go back and listen to his words of wisdom. So I would imagine...
doing lows, but Aimpoint said no. Aimpoint said no. My eyes are saying it actually goes a little, looks right to left, but down near the hole a little left to right. We shall see. Downhill it will be a little slicker from here. There he is. Starting to track, yeah, and moving left to right. See, I'll read it for you next time. I, uh, should I? Yeah, you can have that. That's easily holdable for a man of your many talents. Thank you. Yeah, I was a bit, uh, a bit confused by that. It looked like he was. It, it looked like he should do the opposite of that. Yeah. It looked like he should have gone right to left, but but you know what they say? It didn't. It didn't. Not well known saying. No, it doesn't happen. Mine's going to go a little left to right. Left edge of the hole. Hopefully, uh, chance, to most of this video has been in uh, been in focus. Not sure what Matt's been doing. So to get it back to level again, another chance. No, it's gone the. Uh, oh, should have learned from you. Take it away, though. Well, Matt's all oh, yeah, you can have that one as well. Don't worry about it. So there's some chances coming your way here, Matt, but. No, not, You're not, not taking them yet. Fire, not taking them. So, level par at the moment. This needs to warm up a wee bit. Retrie. Yeah, that says it all, doesn't it? 308 yards. But it's stroke index three. Mm. Must be really easy. Yeah, it's not the, uh, the most open tee shot in the world, is it, that? Uh, no. Going through this little alley over the hill, up yonder. Then it goes down, and then you're pitching back up to the green, which is quite. It's like a slither of bacon almost, isn't it? Yeah, it's tucked hard to the left as well here. Yes. The green's actually go, probably like this wind, angle. I'm going to go just... <laughs> you see I'm the pole go. up there, you probably want to go over probably 10 yards right of that. Yeah. Mind you, it'll be more into wind here, won't it? Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to go straight at that pole. Right on it. Be good. Well done. It's weird that I went for like a a little bit of a low one, but I didn't quite mean to play that much of a punch shot. It almost happened by uh, by, accident. by accident. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of three-quarter training swings though, so maybe it's uh, maybe just came through. Whatever. It was a decent shot. Any particular reason? Yeah, I just find it easy to try and control my swing with little three-quarter shots. Is that all right? Yeah. Do, you, do you mind? Yeah. Is that all right? Can I do that to my own game? God, you're so controlling. Just let other people do what they want to, Matt. Come on. I don't think the relationship's going to work out. You're going to go with three iron as well? Yeah. See, that's fine. It's your decision. You do that. Oh, lovely. You hit a punch shot. I'll hit a punch shot. That was a pure. That was nice, that. Really nice. Two decent tee shots. <laughs> Stroke index three. <laughs> Wait till you see the second. Yeah. So both tee shots finding the fairway down here. I'm just slightly further on after my uh, punch. How far we got in? 105. 105. Up the hill. Wind into. Very slithery. Uh... Well, it's weird. You look at the flag. Flag is going left to right. And the clouds, they're going right to left. So go figure. I did it straight. Straight. Off. How far do you have in? 105. 52 degree wedge. Like it. Just a uh, good one of these. Just a solid one. Just a solid one. I think Pretty I'm going to play a little right of the green because if you miss, uh, sorry, little flag. If you uh, miss this left, very much dead. Yeah. Don't be short. Don't be left. The words. Simple as that, really. Oh, it's gone left. I think you should be long enough there, shouldn't it? Yeah, it's long enough. It's not too bad. It's probably going to be an uphill putt from there, if I remember rightly, but just not quite what you envisaged, I would have thought. Very colour-coordinated outfit, though, with the pants and shoes, I've just noticed. like it. 
Very dapper these days, Peter. That's kind of what I do now. Yeah. <laughs> I dress to impress. I didn't know these were in the boot, but when I, when I saw them... <laughs> it just worked. I knew. Oh, it's just something I threw on earlier. It's not something I've been planning for weeks in advance. Yeah, yeah. He was texting me last night about it. I think I'm going to wear my blue pants and my blue shoes. What do you think? Yeah, whatever. Nice, might need to go a little bit. I think that'll just be front portion of the green. A tad short, I feel. I can actually I see it from here. I think it's all the way, but I think it's okay. I was, I was just expecting the cloud. Yeah, mine didn't really move much either, even when I pulled it, but it's, it's quite sheltered by all this stuff here, so. Fancy that as well. It'd just be better when we haul long putts. This could be the only birdie you see on this part of the video. May as well get one. No, we're going to get them, Pete. Okay, I believe you. So I get up to the green. I'm about 20 foot. Pete about 40. Is that... No, if you were right, you were right. Is that right? Mm. My yardage guesses are so bad. Well, you were right about the, um, the distance, though. We didn't get that far into the green. No. Oh, well. Bit of a sloping one. This one moves a lot from right to left from the trolleys out down towards the forest there. Yeah, I remember this green sloping a lot more. Amazing than little green. fork up here. Give this Look, it's going in to kill. Ooh. Sorry. Get back to the golf. And... How far right are we going here? A couple of feet or? A bit more actually. A bit more? I've got a feeling this is going to curve quite a lot. Yeah, it looks like a swinger. Right line, just needed a uh, a bit of a thwack. You can have that one, sir. Slope, massive slope. Come on, come on, Pete. Better than this. Sort yourself out. Better than this. You're a better person than this. I plan the uh, the back spin, you know. Oh wow! Yeah. I'm just one of them players, you know. Hit it past, bring it back. Comment below, guys. Do you do you play with anyone who goes around like the green? Steps about 20, 30 foot in front of their ball and pretends to find a pitch mark which is theirs. That was mine, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Just right then, after seeing yours move, this is. Yeah. Uh, now, swinger. and I'd say yours is probably. I'm not sure really, because mine was up and off the right. I think yours is down and off the left, really. Yeah, it goes actually up and then down mm. at the end. A bit of a roller coaster. Well, life is a roller coaster, mate. True. Right, come on, Matty. End this part in style. So, to get back to all square again, another chance. Too firm. And too much break. Well guys, that is two parts now without a birdie dog. And I still remain regulation play. One up. Regu yeah, regulation par. Sorry guys. Yeah, sorry. Sorry for the, the boring par golf. I hit the fairway, I hit the green, it's just not good enough. Wow. It's fine, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Right guys, thank you so so much for watching. Delamit, thanks for having us down as well. Course here is absolutely stunning. If you ever are in the area, it's definitely worth a trip. I'm gonna go on to part three now. Final part where myself has the opportunity to seize a historic victory as the sun starts to shine in beautiful Cheshire. Subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Matt if you haven't already, all linked in the description below and we'll see you next time.